We got the call, we had to go. We got a four car carrier and it is buried to the axles. For you who aren't familiar with the four car carrier, I'll tell you what it is. It's a flatbed tow truck and it carries four, tar four cars at the same time. You know, it's, it's one of those tow trucks that you might say like uh, a company like Tow Cart might use. Uh, but anyway, it's buried to the axles and it's pouring rain. It's actually snow. Snow and rain mixed. And it's already muddy out there. We got about 30 miles of pavement to go to get there and then we got about 8 miles of muddy dirt road to get there. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have to drag this thing the full 8 miles after we get them unstuck. But we do have Hellboy, so... And I do have a fire built in the ranch truck because we gave a 90 minute ETA and we're already at that 60 minutes. Luckily we were already loaded, so... We got a storm of brewing right over there. I mean, we're in it. We're actually in the storm, folks. Stand by, it might get western. We got a leak, folks. The ranch truck has sprung the leak. Ain't that right, Canero? Yes. Well, we made it. Before the storm, the storm is right there coming at us. We're getting Hellboy unloaded. Pretty sure I got this truck stuck. When we're done, we'll have to pull it out with Hellboy. I don't know. Pretty soft right here, though. Oh no, the truck's good, it's just a trailer. We'll be alright. We are unloaded, and this is the end of the blacktop. Me and De Niro are loading up in Hellway now, and we're gonna run down the dirt road until we find this guy. So, say he's about eight miles down the dirt. Yeah, shut that truck off. Uh, hey, level the bed out too, if you would, so somebody doesn't come along and decide to use it. Somebody comes through here 90 miles an hour. And... You only live once. YOLO! This is the end of the blacktop. We are hitting the dirt. We've got about eight miles to go, if Google Maps is correct. Hellboy's ready for some action. Look at this recovery gear. State of the art. We have got nothing but the best recovery gear. Bet you ain't never seen that, huh? Synthetic chain. Ready? Got it, huh? I've been working on it. Yeah. Oh. All right, y'all turn around and hook up to you. Okay, what do you think? You think about keep going forward or? I'll get on that side of the road and I'll hook far on that side and, and pull you up on the road. Yeah.
right, Wrecker Rick. I'm sorry. When we get home, we're gonna talk about it. Alright folks, we're hooked up and we're hooked up on the far side so it'll pull it, bring it up out of the ditch. I'll stay on this side, he'll come up, bring him right up here in the middle. Just like that folks, nothing to it. I could tell there was something back there though. It's kind of bogged down a little bit. So the dedication Copart goes to, to get bad cars, broken down cars and you know, junk cars to clean up, you know. That's what Copart does, is they're, a, they're like a salvage yard or a insurance auto auction. So the, the depths they go to, to get these old cars, pretty impressive folks. Cold, folks. Man, gotta work with what you got, folks. I I usually just wipe around the old pants. But. Bet you never thought you'd see a Copart truck out here, huh? Boy, it's something else. All right, now we're gonna begin our long trek back out. He's gonna follow us. We're gonna make sure he doesn't get stuck. We may have to give him another little pull. So there's some slick surface in front of us. There's some boggy places a little bit in front of us, so. Stand by, we are I-40 bound. We're gonna make sure he gets out to blacktop. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Two fans today, folks. We ran into two fans. Four fans? Two came up to this morning. Really? You yeah. ran into two fans this morning? Yeah. And two today? Man, that's why we do it, folks. Man, we just love the interaction with the fans. Well, De Niro met two guys today. I just met, well, I didn't meet that guy, but De Niro met three guys today. I met one guy. Really cool people. Almost everybody that comes up to us that we encounter are always really cool. Love what we do, appreciate what we do. So, makes it all worthwhile. Plus, why wouldn't you love doing this? I mean, we 
literally just pulled the tow part out. How many of you tow drivers, tow owners, have got to pull co part out of the mud? Comment below. How about you, Denaro? Have you ever pulled a co part truck out of the mud? Yeah. When? Today. Just now. When? Just now. Like five minutes ago? Touche. When you're right, you're right. Never shit a shitter. Well, we're back at the trailer, folks. We got him out to the blacktop, and he is getting on I-40 as we speak. Wasn't much to it. We're gonna get loaded up. Stand by. I don't know if you can see it, but right there. That's Mount Hope. Uh, it's on the ROs. I actually used to cowboy on the ROs before I started Murphy's Towing. Just a little fun fact for y'all. It's pretty cool. Uh, like five airplanes crashed on it. Pretty crazy. Big old mountain. A lot of cowboys or ashes are spread up there. We came, we saw, we recovered. We didn't scratch corner on that bad, Larry. We're on to the next one. You stay classy, folks.